A lot of times when you're wrestling, uh, guys have different offensive takedowns, a double leg, high crutch, duck under, so on. And there are some kids that like to do ankle picks. Here's a counter to an ankle pick. Now, not that you want to give them an ankle pick to show them the counter, but you can practice this because this, this motion of high legging over and facing a guy moving around, once you learn how to just kind of move around on the mat, uh, you can take a lot of the counters work into all of this. So here on an ankle pick, what we're going to do is just high leg over, controlling the hand. So we're going to take his ankle pick and make him eat his ankle, or make, make him eat it out of it. But anyhow, uh, have an ankle pick here. He drops down. There, on the way down, Jake plants his hand down on the mat so he doesn't fall on his ass, grabs the wrist, high legs over, and then comes right back into him. And then you end up with a control. Because on control is like military high ground. If you're in the high ground, you can have half as many troops and half as many cannons as the troops have down here. They've got to come up the mountain. High ground wins military battles, usually. You can have half as many and you still win. High ground makes all the difference in wrestling. I think if there's one thing I spend more time than anything else coaching and saying in a middle of a match, height, 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 get height, get height. Get your butt up, get higher than he is. Whoever has the high ground is in usually majority of the time in position to win the position or have already won the position. Height wins. Ankle pick, guy's coming down. He's voluntarily giving up a sight. Jake is going to high leg over, maintain height, come back into him so he stays higher. Whoever stays higher usually wins all positions, and, and that's especially true later on in the video we're going to do over funk wrestling and counter funk wrestling. Counter funk wrestling or funk wrestling Whoever has their head higher than their opponent wins the position, period. End of discussion. Whoever has the higher head, if you drop your head, you lose. You raise your head, you win. And we'll cover that a little later. But right now, a counter to a high leg or to an ankle pick. Ankle pick. Step over and then right back into a double. And on to his back. Or, you know, maybe you catch him on his back. Maybe he bails out. But whatever. He didn't get taken down on the ankle pick. Okay. So, uh, one more time. Why don't you swing around to 180, 180 degrees different. You can see the same thing again, nothing's changed. Ankle pick, high leg over, and back into him. This is one of those in the match, the tournament videos. Now everybody can video anybody, and you can see what, you know, you're going to wrestle Bob Smith from Massachusetts in the Pennsylvania Classic or something. You know, you know eventually you're going to see him. He's winning a lot of matches up in New England. You're going to see him, so you watch him go. Well, I want to know when I wrestle somebody, I want to watch them somewhere along the line, be it videotape by watching them earlier in the tournament. I just want to know one thing, I, and I, I know specific one thing. What's his go-to move? Jordan Burroughs, I know I'm going to see a double. Ta-da! You know, so I have to spend time thinking about how am I going to neutralize that double. If I neutralize that double, I'm going to win. If I don't, I'm going to lose. So I don't say, well, if he, he, he does this, I'm going to do that. If, of course, down here he does this, I'm going to do that. You'll get so mixed up and so confused, you will have a hard time winning the match because you're trying to outthink the guy. Find out one thing he does. does I want to know, does he ride opposite side or normal side when he gets on top? And uh, what's his best takedown? I just want to know, if you're going to get on the opposite side, you're going to go, okay, I have to do anything backwards. I have to stand up differently. Okay, so I know that. And on his feet, he likes a double leg. He likes an ankle pick. If he's an ankle pick guy and I know that, I'll, uh, you know, before I see him, I'm going to try this three or four or five times and, and get a little bit better at stepping over, high-legging over on the, on the ankle pick. So watch the guy figure out the one thing that he does that's his go-to move that he wins all the tournaments with. Okay, you shut, you shut Burroughs' double leg down, as Dake did in the Olympic trials finals. Two matches, they wrestled each other, and Burroughs didn't get one takedown because Dake was very successful at dropping down to his knees and stopping the double leg from occurring. And all of a sudden... Match was over before it started because Jordan didn't have the doubles that he had earlier. But, you know, hey, they both are wonderful, great human beings, educators, classy for the sport, and great wrestlers, both of them. But the idea is to try to stop somebody. So back to the ankle pick one more time. Uh, for those who just remembered, of course, they can rewind it and see it again. Ankle pick, high leg over with wrist, with wrist control, with wrist control, which he has with wrist control. And then he can back into him and take him down. There you have a counter to an ankle pick, works every time.